smash, Trey Ball, bang from the wing, man. That shouldn't even happen one time if you are if you don't have the stats abuse to back it up. He shoot from damn near the hash, man. Mike, what are we doing, man? He don't got the stats abuse. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Good morning out there, 2K Lab, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with basketball guys yesterday, man, and people saying that the game was on Super Rookie and all that, and they're absolutely right. Basketball guys was on Super Rookie difficulty. And I can't get, I can't get mad at it, man, just because of the fact that people um, I mean, I, I think they wanted people to be able to compete or feel like they were competing or feel like they got better. I don't know what they were really going for, man, but we're going to go through it with the fine tooth comb and talk about everything that possibly could have been and that was on yesterday. We got people boosting. We got people circumventing the skill-based matchmaking. We got people complaining about the skill-based matchmaking. We even got people coming out there with, uh, with the lowest of the low bills and getting busy man and we're gonna talk about all that in one second but before we get started make sure y'all like the video or comment y'all thoughts down below y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing to the moon, Alice. hey if nobody told y'all this today y'all my brothers my sisters my family love each and every last one of y'all man money on the floor let's get straight to it man i don't know if they can help dave o white man but listen man he said look he he got error coded and after he got error coded he lost all of his players all of his rep everything but he still has his cap breakers now i'm not gonna lie to y'all this will be difficult for me to swallow uh, for me to take on for me to endure because pause but uh all that pause just pause everything wavy uh but like like it would it would be terrible to to go through something like this man uh you do you put in all this work and the next thing you know everything is gone man now let me tell you what you can do you're gonna have to holler at 2k support they should be able to take care of you, man. We know they can get players back because they got everybody's players back before they, so they could affix Patrick to it last year. And so I'm sure they can do the same thing for you, man. Uh, hopefully, you know, everything that you were doing was on the up and up. But um, if you weren't doing anything that was, that was, you know, not right, you should be good, man. So, hey, it is what it is, man. Up next, hey, we got the guy. He said, after being sick for two days, uh, yeah, man, he got that starter four, man. And, you know, that starter four... I think that's where you get the takeover accelerator, which that's going to be crazy because takeover accelerator is definitely needed in this game. Um, the reason I would say takeover accelerator is needed in this game is because you just never know. Um, like, like you don't know, like takeover is so vital, especially the shooting. And then like some of the takeovers are so good, so specialized, so everything. So getting that takeover accelerator will be, will be uh super dope, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I can't wait till I reach starter four right now. I am starter two and I'm rolling, man. But now to the meat and potatoes of the thing, man, that boy hanging and taking said basketball guys is hundred percent on rookie difficulty. My player has a 25 rebound and I'm jumping for boards like Superman and no one is missing a jump shot. And uh, you, he's right, man. People ain't missing the jump shot. My man says, hey, nobody is missing. Uh, dude said, I have a 25 dunk, and I'm slamming, uh, getting chased down blocks too. Quavo was doing the same thing. He says, I mean, it ain't a bad thing considering a lot of the casuals want to get the reward. And then he says, hey, uh, some some guy, Dede, thought I had a Zen, man. And so with that being the case, man, people think you got Zens. People are thinking this, and people got that. That brings us to this right here. If there was a rookie, if there was a difficulty level below rookie, that's what basketball gods would be on, man. And it is, it was on super rookie, man, because a lot of stuff that, that we normally don't see being allowed, uh, yeah, it was being allowed. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. It was crazy. Um, and then like like my man said, he said, I thought y'all wanted easier shooting. He says, I literally been saying the exact opposite. Uh, and who's y'all? I, I always ask y'all that. Hey, when y'all come through there with that bullshit ass, you know, that y'all, man, I'd be like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bro. Who the fuck is y'all? I don't like that. Y'all always all try. I wish I lump all the content creators and stuff together. I think I went on the the offensive, say, vehemently saying, I don't want them to change shooting. Just leave it how it is. I think it's a skill gap issue. It's something that we can figure out. And I'm going to figure out how to shoot the basketball anyway. But if we can figure it out and then they change. So if I go through the, through the, because I, I feel like I figured it out. I'm shooting much better now. Uh, we obviously I was shooting well in basketball guys and then I guess that care, confidence carried over and that took me to to uh, being able to shoot well in the wreck yesterday and in the park and all of that Ooh, breezy. Shit out of here, nigga. Hey, uh, that, that led over to that and so what I'm saying is I'm shooting well I feel like I've learned how to shoot more consistently and I figured out a lot about shooting if they were to change shooting now and make it so that everybody could shoot I think I'd be upset like like they asked in the first time 
do you guys think that there's an issue with shooting or is there something that is it nothing is it something that can't be figured out instant burning them figured it out man i done figured it out breezy done figured it out seems like a lot of people figured it out man brute figured it out gambit done figured it out like we we see it figured it out like we we if you come in and you say, I'm gonna take this as a challenge and I'm gonna go for it, then I think you'll be fine, man. But anyway, up next, hey, we got that. Uh, this is what we were talking about. The other thing we we're talking about with basketball gods, man, it's just a lag. The lag was atrocious, horrendous. Any other word that you want to add to it. He said he got that AT&T uh, Giga Power, Giga Fiber or whatever. And like, this is what was happening. Now that was happening to a lot of us. Uh, it happened to me twice when I was playing with Thunder. And uh, it happened to me, um, like one or two times when we, were, when we were trying to win. I think you probably even saw it freeze in this video and it sucked yeah, because every possession in this joint was so important that if you, if for some reason, oh yeah, and uh, this is my boy I got, this is my boy right here, uh, Forgiato Woods, man. Big shout out to him, man. We're gonna leave his link to his YouTube channel down in the description. He said, Jay, man, if you need a master, man, I got you, man. Hey, we might have to run it up on twos, man. You, you go down there and be, to be real toxic with the, uh, with the back them down. And then I'm gonna be toxic with, I'm gonna stand outside and I'm gonna shoot the tray ball. And that's what we gonna do like me and Nino used to do last year, man. Hit me up for Giotto, man. I'm, I'm, I'm always willing to run and put some toxic content out there, man. So just wanted to give you a big shout out on that, man. Up next, hey, basketball gods secured. And uh, this is Solo them and they saying that they secured basketball gods. You see them out there. Uh, you know, they up there, uh, 47 win streak. God only knows how they did that, bro. I have absolutely no clue. You had to been sweating. Like, you in, in, I that was the reason that people were complaining about skill based matchmaking because in here, bro, you are playing the sweat of the sweats, man. And then he go, you know, the generals again. Hey, listen, you're playing the sweat of the sweats. Everybody in here was good, everybody in here was comp. There was no lacking. Or, or anything like that. And there's only really one or two ways that it could have been circumvented and that people were circumventing it. And uh, you know, we gonna hint at it right here because uh, Splashy says, so nah, for real, we just not gonna talk about the 60 overalls having match bags and basketball guys. And then a hey, dude said, it feel like uh, 2K, it feels like 2013, 2014 again, no tutorials because everyone is making Demi guys or what have you. And I'm not gonna lie, jump shot saying, jump shot videos not hidden. Tutorials not hitting none of that stuff, man. It's absolutely crazy. But hey, that uh, Badgy plug it backed it up, and he said someone told me that 60 overall centers play like they have fully uh, fully maxed out bills and basketball god event. So I just tried it, and it does. Every badge is popping up. I'm horsing rebounds, setting big screens, big screens, and getting dunks with no with nothing equipped. This event is absolutely broken. And then this is what he's showing right here. He's showing himself. He's showing himself. Uh doing that look he boxing out with a 60 overall give me this board kick it out tray ball and you know what it is bang, bang. hey and then he got the board and go back up with it like what like this is the type of thing that shouldn't even happen once if you don't have this the, the what i call it the stat attributes to back to back it up it shouldn't even happen once man and then he says say hey, i don't know if 2k intended for 60 overalls and basketball guys to play like 99s but it's actually pretty cool been, been thinking about making a, a center or a lock Go test it out. I've been thinking about making a center or a lock. Go test it out online in this event, man. Hey, that was dope for 2K to do us a solid, man, where you can go in there and test bills out, man. As long as you didn't move it from a 60 overall, you were uh, you, you were going to play like you were a 99 overall and then shoot everyone just saying, look how broke basketball God says, I'm on a 60 overall inside, 7-3 greening, everything. LMAO, this mess is on rookie sliders. And I like to say super rookie sliders, but hey, Let's just see what he's talking about, man. Cause I thought he was capping, but hey, here we go. Uh, 60 overall defensive anchor, and somebody else. Hey, he got the thing that the guy, the gut, the guts boys. Hey, he got the memo too, man. Everybody doing the, the inside joint. Run to the uh, run to the hash tray ball, bang from the wing, man. That shouldn't even happen one time. If you are, if you don't have the statutes to back it up. He shoot from damn near the hash, man. Mike, what are we doing, man? He don't got the statutes to back that up, bro. Why is he able to do that in here? But hey, maybe it's what it is what it is. And I digress. And now I see why everybody was doing what they were doing. You might as well make a 60 overall if you're gonna play like a 99. Not only would you get to circ circumvent the skill-based matchmaking, which we're going to talk about in one second, but at the same time, you can uh, you know, you're gonna get easier games and you don't have to put no VC into it, man. Up next, hey, but this is what we this is where we at right here with a lot of people wanting to know, man. Hey, 
skill-based matchmaking should only exist in no squads and all uh, and all proven ground modes. Should only exist in no squad. Okay, I get that because they want to, when you in no squads, they want to put you with people of similar skill. Everything else should not be matchmaking. And he said, "Say I'd add the stage uh, too, but I 100% agree." He said, "Dudes, <laughs> dudes be, dudes be start four with uh, uh bro, I don't know what he's trying to say. I uh, want to play against Lil Timmy, Timmy with 24 games. Okay, dudes, dudes be starter for with 2,000 games, but want to play against Lil Timmy with 24 games and Bobby who don't even know how to join an affiliation. I don't think it's like that, man, but I, I will. I'm, we're going we're gonna to talk about it because we want to see what other people say. That boy Chalk says skill-based matchmaking is ruining, ruining NBA 2K25. And then he elaborates. He says, uh, somebody says something. He says, you are a dense human. Uh, you're a d d dense human being if you believe that every game of 2K, uh, regardless of mode, should feel like game seven of the NBA Finals. He said, what's wrong with skill-based matchmaking? Y'all want an easy, easy win against bums. The crazy thing is, like Bass Plug say, listen, bro, we're going to whoop y'all ass anyway. It doesn't matter. Like, if I play the game more than you and I've gone through the fire in here and gotten better, look at this. Look, I'm taking shots. Like, bro, I don't, I don't care. Like, you can play defense or you can do whatever you want to. It doesn't matter what you think. It's not the fact that you're playing against bombs. Nobody, we, we don't care about playing against bombs or stuff like that. I really don't either. Like, it to me, you can leave it like this uh, because if they, okay, so if they leave it like this, I want to play better people. I want to get better at the game. I want to do that. A lot of times, the only way to get better is to play with better people. And I'm not talking about against better people. You have to play with better people on your team so that you get access to the better to the better players, right? So for me, it's all, it's all right. I can sweat every game. I can do that. But the average person that gets off work, they might not want to sweat every game. And maybe they don't notice the skill-based matchmaking because Browns are playing Browns, goals playing goals, whatever you want to say, man. So, uh, so you know, that's the case. But like Instant Burner said, man, this is the this is the other side of it. There's no way everyone is this good, man. I'm fighting for my life every damn game. Damn. And that's, that's right, man. Like, it's like every game you fighting for your life, bro. Have y'all understood that? There's no, we're not blowing, nobody's getting blown out anymore, pause. But like, you know, it, some games be like 10 to 21 or something like that. And, uh, well, I don't think we had one of those. Every game that we've played, whether it be park, rec, uh, well, let me just say park, theater, whatever, it's like 17 to 22. Every game is competitive and it's just crazy. So that, that's, that begs the question, you know, where do the casuals play in NBA 2K25? And he says, hey, we aren't allowed to play against uh, uh against the against them. Um, and he said, that's tough, man. That's right. But I mean, it's cool, though. If we're not allowed to play against casuals, then it is what it is. If you semi-comp or you're just a little bit more competent, we're going to say comp means competent. If you're competent at the game, should I only play against other players that are competent at the game? I'm telling y'all, this might not be the best way because this is what literally killed Call of Duty and sent everybody to play Warzone. If Warzone was not in the game, Call of Duty would probably be like, like I don't, I don't think anybody really be on it because like, I know a lot of people have fun playing Call of Duty, and when I play with my friends that aren't that good, I have a ball. Now, sometimes I get my wife to hop in the lobby and be like, hey, hey, Bridget, come on in here and, and, and hop in the lobby, man, because we need to, you know what I'm saying? We we need we need somebody, we get Big Mac. We get somebody that's not that good, and then we play, and then we can have some type of fun. But other than that, bro, it's like the game wants you to have a 1.0 KD, and that's what they really push you toward. And we play with Galaxy, and it's like people are over my head or all that. So it makes it in a lot of ways so you can't play with your friends and have a good time and have a good time. That's the biggest caveat right there because you can play with your friends. You just might not have the best time because when we play, we, we out there sweating. In 2K, what it's going to do is it's going to make it so, so like I can't play with Forgiato. I can't play with certain people. If you're not good, you might as well not even ask me to play unless I can pull a crowd like EJ and I can just play against people like that. That's one thing. But if you can't pull a crowd, and uh, and you're gonna be playing, like I said, you're gonna be playing against the best of the best, man. And that's what that boy Dimes, he was speaking of the best of the best, he says, man, hey, skill-based matchmaking should only be improving grounds. No other mode should have skill-based matchmaking. What was the point of adding a rank system if everything is ranked? And the GOAT problem right come through. We gotta read it in this voice. He said, every game in the event is against 2K League rejects. They got it. That's my guy right there, the GOAT problem, right? He said, man, every 2K. 
They said, man, everybody getting popped out. I'm playing 2K League Finals every game, bro. Like like we said, bro, in this event, and Problem Right is the GOAT, man. Like he said, he done won more, more Madden stuff than almost anybody, bro. And uh, Henry Wright up there with him next. You know, he up next, but, but Problem Right the GOAT. If Problem say it's a problem, then Problem, it is a problem. And then, hey, my boy Sid67, the, the, the uh, what do we call him? The, the, the uh, comp scene extraordinaire, man. Let's see what Sid talking about. Man, people are saying that skill-based matchmaking is ruining 2K right now. And I don't like to agree with everybody most of the time, but Neither I do really I do have to agree with them on this. Uh, it should be in certain events. It should be in Pro-Am. It should be in Proving Grounds. Those are ranked modes. Those are something that people are competing for, and, and you're trying to get to the number one spot, or you're trying right. to have your team be the number one spot, and Pro-Am is supposed to be the competitive mode. But you got matchmaking in park, you got matchmaking in the rack, and I don't think people want to sweat every single time that they step into a rec game or a park game. And I'm watching people play basketball guys right now, and they are getting matched up against people that are the best in the game, and they're trying to go on win streaks. Mm -hmm. This looks crazy, 2K. I'm not going to lie. This, this looks crazy. You need to do something about skill-based matchmaking so that it is only in the modes where it should be. We have a right. ranked system now. We have a ranked program. We can have those in there and we should get good games in there. But in the rec, I mean, you don't want to sweat every rec game. It has been nice not having, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blowouts in a row in the rec. You, know, you have to actually play and get your team acclimated to get in the win. But, I mean, some people don't want to do that when they come off work. They don't want to be like, oh, we got to get in the wreck and sweat our eyeballs out. You know, it's it's getting to be a little much. I usually don't agree with the community when they say something like this because we've been crying for skill-based matchmaking forever. But in every single mode, it seems a little bit like overkill. I think you guys need to calm that down a little bit because it's driving people crazy. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. And he, like you said, that's just his opinion, man. But I will tell you this. If, if you have played the game and a lot of people feel like it's working beautifully because they're like, I don't even notice it. Oh my bad, let me get that video back started. I don't even notice the skill-based matchmaking. Is there skill-based matchmaking in the game? So if you don't notice that there's skill-based matchmaking in the game, then that means that the game is doing, that the skill-based matchmaking is working, it's doing its job. It, you understand that, that um, you know, you're playing against people on your level and you're probably having the time of your life at 2K, you're probably playing, thinking like this is one of the best 2Ks that ever came out and you feel like you've got better, gotten better and you feel like you're able to compete. So I can't even get mad at that, man. Like a lot of people are going to enjoy it just like the masses probably enjoy skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty. But the minute you start getting a little bit better and having good games, man, I'm telling you, it, it, it's going to move you into a tier. You're going to load into a park and it's going to be crazy. Now, it's not as strict as Call of Duty. You have one good game, you're playing SEAL Team 6, you're playing the Power Rangers, you're playing the Avengers, and that's after playing with Timmy No Thumbs or what have you, right? That's what's going to happen after you have one good game. At least in this one, you have to have several good games and move up to the next uh, level. My biggest issue with skill-based matchmaking that is easily circumvented, we, we already know that it prioritizes your build, your build, or your overall of your build, and then it prioritizes your your uh, 2K card, your 2K plate, the black plate or the you know red or whatever like that. It prioritizes those two things. Those two things can be reset at no cost. So is skill-based matchmaking really working? And then like they said, people like shoot us. And as soon as you get up to bronze or something like that, bro, all you gotta do is go into the uh, thing and quit one game and then you go back to black and then you can just keep doing what you're doing. And so you can create unlimited bills, the leader bill, get a 60 overall on your team and continuously circumvent the skill-based matchmaking, which a lot of people did and I don't blame them because bro, it was hard as all get out to get six uh, dubs in this thing, man. But we did it in one try and don't at me. Me, Breezy, and T. Misley did it in one try. It did not take us 12 hours and all, all night. It didn't. I don't know what y'all talking about with that, man. Up next, hey, my man said, I understand why they did it, though, uh, because the game, because those same guys who called themselves comp never played in the comp modes anyway. They stayed away from the, a pro-am on purpose all, the, all last year just so they could team up against lesser skilled teams. Literally ran away from good teams. Uh, and and he, I'm, I can't deny that right there. He says, you're not lying 100%. Uh, some are actually, I mean, some are exactly like that, man. Cause people love to call themselves comp, but they never played comp. They never went out there. They never did nothing. And it's cool. But like I said, if skill-based matchmaking prioritize team performance and teammate grade, and then 
you know, build build level and and your plate. You're like this right here. This should be at the end of skill based matchmaking, not like that. It's just like pro, like Call of Duty, in a game that's so based on connection, it does not care who you are. If you are a certain level, I will be playing somebody in Saskatchewan, and I'm and I can't compete in that lobby because the lag is too immense. It should pro Call of Duty is so heavily connection based. It should it should prioritize your connection first and then go skill based matchmaking. But it goes straight skill based matchmaking and somebody gets destroying the whole lobby because they got the uh, you know they're sitting on top of the dedicated server and they slapping everybody, man. But hey, speaking of sitting on top, man, hey that boy running 2K said, hey as as uh, as as is always the case, I wouldn't recommend boosting or cheating any of the systems. We are uh, we are usually pretty harsh on that eventually to make sure that the community that plays honestly is rewarded in the words of Kendrick carry on. But see, this is something that you can't do running because you can't prove that I have sufficient funds. See, this is where 2K messed up, right? Every, like they gave us the bills and they gave us the ability to get straight to 99 so that we could not, we thought they were doing us a favor. No, they didn't want us to, to, to discover that we could circumvent the skill-based matchmaking by using 85 overall. So we'd be like, dang, why, why am I playing super hard players? Pause. And then as soon as I, as soon as I play with my, uh, I make a new player, get an 85 overall or something like that, then I'm, then I'm playing, you know, what I'm playing. I'm playing normal people. I'm getting games. I'm able to, you know, get games in the theater and all that good stuff. That's what they didn't want us to discover. But hey, people did it. They made new characters. Don't go straight to 99. They're like, huh, this is this is interesting. So the whole thing is with this, you can't prove, you can't say anybody's boosting because maybe I only got enough money to make another player and get him to 60 overall. Maybe I don't have enough money to do that. So this isn't just something they can't do anything about uh, other than just don't prioritize the, you know, the, the, the build, the build. Like that shouldn't be the first thing that you prioritize and that should be your, your performance or whatever. Anyway, up next, hey, congrats to speaking of running 2K, congrats to him for being the top of the leaderboard, man. Check that out, man. God, boy, that boy running 2K, man. Running 2K came back with a statement and said, uh, he said, say, even though <laughs> I really, in really random news, I appreciate the love for whoever did this, but it isn't me. The three point percentage is accurate though, bro. Look at what they did with Ronnie, man. Look at they did that boy Ronald, man. Ronald, 18 games played with a 20, what is it, bro, 250. No, that's that's two million, two million five hundred forty thousand five hundred and thirty-three three-point percentage and 55 win percent, bro. He won what 10 games out of 18. Hey, that's dope right now, Ronnie. With with the, well, look at the assists. Look at them as is and only two turnovers. But why you're fouling? Get stop hacking, Ronnie. 204,018 games, Ronald. Come on, Ronald, you gotta do better. Damn. You gotta do better than that, my boy, man. Hey, it is what it is. That boy Quavo, Quavo came through and said, though, I can't believe the product that 2K puts out every year, shaking my head, man. It, hey, it's just one of them things where I, I definitely understand what people are saying. I understand, um, I, I, I just I just understand from all levels, man, because Double A says, hey, if there's one thing that we learn from basketball gods, is that 2K should not buff shooting. Exactly, because we wanted people to buff shooting, we wanted them to change shooting, we wanted them to do all of that. And I think everybody went into basketball gods, really got it together, really played against other people. And I think what really happened is we saw people slapping, hitting every shot, and we was like, shoot, if they can do it, I can do it. And so, you know, we just accepted that challenge, man, because a, a bunch of unknown people are out there and they chicken. It's hard to continue to say, uh, you know, this is not a skill gap issue. Perhaps it is, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. What do y'all think about skill-based matchmaking? I don't mind it. If it's an opportunity to get better, then I'm just gonna get better. But you don't wanna sweat every single game. But it, 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 what's, why is the system there if it can just be equally, if it can be easily circumvented if I just go and make another build and then play on a 60 overall that's gonna play lights out? That's absolutely insane. Or was that only in basketball, guys? Who knows? Because I see uh, I see Quavo them do it. And, and they 60 overalls be playing like in the regular park, they playing tough. So I don't know, man, but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. And I will holler at y'all next. Hit the like button if you subscribe, if you're new, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please, guys, please, guys, please.